Hello YouTube, just a quick video to showcase two guns. It's not going to be a full review, but more like a mini review of two guns at once during the one video. We're going to do our first impressions, see how the ergonomics are, how the gun feels, talk about the sight, the gun construction, the trigger feel and weight, the mag magazine capacity. Then we're going to talk about the price, uh, retail price and street price if you have the information and who should buy the gun. So those three things really we're going to go over too real quick. So today I have a Browning High Power, a modern Browning High Power 9mm empty magazine. Clear, the gun is safe, no mount, no ammunition nearby. This is a Browning High Power Mark III by Browning, an original. And then we have a <coughs> empty magazine, clear. We have a Turkish Tissas Zigana M16. <coughs> it's not supposed to be a copy of a Browning at all, no, but it has about the same recall lock breech operation. It kind of reminds me of one when I first saw it online. I just got this yesterday. But it's not supposed to be a Browning, but we'll compare them both. I haven't shot this one yet and eventually we'll do a comparison video about how they shoot. So let's talk about the classic first. This is a Browning high power, so if you don't know who John Moses Browning is, you can Google it, but I'm sure many of you who watch or who are into farms or historical weapons will know who that who is. A very classic weapon, I think one and a half million copies of production units, sorry, one and a half million or more units were produced of this gun over the time of, uh, of its inception. This one is a modern one, it's no longer in production, uh, it's, a, it's called a Browning Mark III. It's sink, double stack magazine, 10 plus 1 round, 10 round magazine. Ergonomics, it feels very well, so if you see the cutout on the handle, it, you, when you hold it, it feels very well. Uh, it's a steel construction with some matte black color and epoxy finish. So the finishes on the gun, of course, are high quality. This is manufactured by Browning Arms in the U.S. Uh, traditionally, Browning was made between FN, Fabrique Nationale, which is a French company, and Browning Arms. This one was assembled in Portugal, made and designed in Belgium. This is a classic gun, really. Uh, big collectors or collectors of farms always have one of those there's a more vintage older version i don't have one eventually it will be fun to have a, an older browning a recent one and maybe something in between um, so single action short recall operation browning type operation um, shoots pretty accurately it's got high profile sights meaning the sights are a little higher the front side is just a black dot and the rear sides are very interesting so there's a single white line on the rear that allows you to, to kind of bring the side to position and then mark them otherwise pretty pretty standard side the gun weighs about uh, 32 ounce the trigger on the browning high power and this is the first one i really use extensively interesting trigger the reason actually i have this gun is because the trigger felt like it almost felt like it was a double action there was a lot of you pull and then you get hit to a wall and then you pull again but i've been putting about three uh 500 rounds into this trigger to kind of soften it up for the owner so it's getting there and it's acting a little bit different however i think the browning trigger pull weight was about nine pounds i have a a trigger pull scale that I use on this one and it bought on that at eight, at 8 pound before the trigger was pulled. There are a lot of threads and discussion around the trigger feel of a Browning high power. This is about $1,000, $1,100 depending on where you find them. They are no longer in production so maybe the price will go up now. Um, so but that's that's about it. Internal, the internals are very simple. You got a 5 inch barrel recall spring that short and that has a little nut to lock and then we'll have some pictures about uh, the internal the gun disassembled and then we'll, we'll do a full blown review on this gun now let's switch real quick to the other gun so the other gun the Zigana Tissas Tissas Zigana M16 I know I, I always move a lot when I talk but single action double action so 
this one has a single action where you pull the trigger directly or you can cock it and double action double stack magazine 15 plus rounds so 15 rounds in the magazine one in the chamber um, this one it feels good to grab I don't think it feels as well to me as the original the Browning high power however this is easier to hold the grips are the same but this one feels a little bigger because I think it's a little wider and it's got some plastic textured grip here I think the texture could have been a little bit better but again this is we have, we I want I don't want to jump into the price but this is a one that's much more affordable than the Browning high power uh, about 5 inch barrel as well like the Browning 4.6 inch I believe uh, it's got uh, same kind of internals simple slide lock it, uh, it uses a very Browning like recall system so internally and the way it operates you would think it's very similar to the Browning high power I have not shot this one as, as I mentioned so I don't know how it shoots yet but we'll have a video on that it's got low profile sight however the sights are much shorter than the other ones and it's standard three white dot sight so I think these are easier to pick up than the browning however the browning I can still pull it up and see the side right away but this is a little bit easier because of the, the white dots I don't know if you can see that very well trigger pull it feels better than the browning to be honest it does have a heavy trigger in single action, which I believe the website from Tissas rates at about 9.5 ounce, uh, 9 pounds, sorry, 9.5 pounds. Uh, and in single action, it's about a 4.5 pound trigger, which, I'm sorry, in double action, it's about 4.5 pound trigger. Definitely feel, felt out of the box. Again, I received this one yesterday. It felt much easier than the browning which i've had for a few weeks now and it was it's getting better but the, that browning was fairly new i believe the one i did a few months ago um how does it feel again it feels good to grab uh, a little high a little it feels a little bigger in my hand but for a new uh, you know someone who's not used to farms it's actually easier to hold things that feel this way because you feel like there's more to grab um, I don't know how it shoots yet because I haven't shot it yet but the trigger it shouldn't be too bad it, sh it shouldn't be too bad it's got a serration in the front uh, this again is a steel construction as well some epoxy polystyrene plastic grip the quality overall feels different than the Browning high power this gun is $200 a $240 $200 retail price I bought this one for about $200 uh, 220 I believe classic firearms so you can tell when I when I open it when I just assembled it yesterday and I looked at the pieces the finishing is not the same right so the Browning high power although they are very similar in kind of a construction it feels like but you can tell a little bit of more of the quality definitely on the Tissas when I hold it the grip side I can tell they are they are okay they weren't they didn't give me any feeling of Oh, this is a high quality super expensive gun but they are not too bad either so it doesn't feel awkward it doesn't feel weird but you can definitely tell the difference when you pick them up but however this gun is lighter than the Browning high power this I believe is 28 ounce it's lighter than the Browning although it's a little bit bigger the frame is a little bit bigger especially around the slide uh, but that's how you know this is the Tissas Zigani M16. It's out of Turkey, it's a Turkish company. Or oh, one more thing, this has ambidextric safety and cocker decocker as well. So at least it's got dual uh, ambidextric operation on the safety level, which is always a good feature that I like. Uh, actually, how do they compare? You know, shooting wise, I don't know, aesthetic wise just a little bigger very similar look and feel I don't know if you can tell but they are they're very similar the the design and the frame are similar the ergonomics and the grip on the Browning Hyper are a little higher quality I believe the Zigana very you know it doesn't have a problem it's just not the same feel when I hold the, Z, the Browning then I hold this M Zigana M16 who should buy this 
anybody anybody who can afford it this is definitely a lot of history there's a lot of history behind this browning high power much more expensive high value in your collection this one yet to be to create his own history who knows what the future will bring but probably a very fun gun to have if you want to have a feeling of a something that could be like a classic single action double action i don't know how he shoots yet so 200 bucks thousand bucks you know so i think that's a wrap if you're enjoying the video subscribe and like Post a comment, tell me what you think, tell me if you have a brownie high power modern one or a classic one. Let me know definitely if you have the Zigana Tisas and what made you buy it. And then we'll go from there. Next time we'll go to the range and shoot those. And then we'll, we'll see what happens. Thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe. Stay safe.